Hey everybody, Alicia here with Terra Drift. Today we are bringing you an update of a review that we shot probably about six months ago of the Lark water bottle. So if you remember, this is a water purification water bottle. It has a UVC light in the lid so that empty or clean, you can hit this button and it will either purify your water or kill all of the germs in your water bottle, thus negating the need to wash it which is amazing, but it also purify your water. So whether you're traveling or you're at home and you just aren't really sure about what bacteria or viruses might be floating around in there, maybe you're in a third world country, maybe you are uh, hiking and you found a stream and uh, decided to refill. This is gonna kill all the nasties in that water, which is super cool. But we're coming at you with an update because we have been using this for about six months now and are actually quite surprised about how much we loved this water bottle. We've obviously used and abused it a little bit, uh, which is one thing we were worried about in the original review is that a stainless steel water bottle um, wasn't gonna be able to stand up to the abuse that we sometimes dole out. Um, and that was true. This was just it falling out of the car. It got dented. It hasn't affected the performance of the water bottle in any way or anything like that. Uh, but this is only one of what I presume will become many dents in <laughs> this metal water bottle because that's just what happens with stainless steel. What we loved about this water bottle <laughs> was mostly the fact that we could be super lazy. This surprisingly became our go-to water bottle for the sole purpose that we don't have to wash it. Uh, we use water bottles pretty much every single day, uh, going to the gym, going to the office, uh, running around town. There's a water bottle in our car, in our bag, in our hands all the time. And so, you know, we wash a lot of water bottles. Uh, unfortunately, there's a, there's a lot of washing involved. And since we don't have a dishwasher because we live in a tiny house and that's a waste of space, we have to hand wash all our water bottles, which is just lame and time consuming. So this loved it just because we didn't have to wash a water bottle. True, uh, we, we do have to wash the, the mouthpiece occasionally because uh, the UVC light in the lid does not reach the outside of the mouthpiece or the very inside of the mouthpiece here. So that does get washed every once in a while uh, when it starts to like smell funky or this, for example, has a weird lipstick stain on it. Uh, proof that I dress up every once in a while, I guess. <laughs> the other reason we like this water bottle is because it is double walled. It's insulated, which means it keeps our water cold, which is really cool in the summer in Texas when it's 110 degrees. That is not an exaggeration. This water bottle keeps our water cold for several hours, which is super awesome. So it's another great reason we love this water bottle. Also, you know, I was a little afraid at first to use it to purify any water that I was pretty sure it was contaminated. Uh, we're talking third world countries or back country streams, rivers, things like that, that you don't want to drink water straight from the tap or straight from the stream. But after doing a lot more research about UVC and seeing all the stuff that it does, I would have no problem filling this up from a mountain stream or um, a tap in Mexico and then hitting the adventure mode purification button and letting it take care of everything. It, it kills bacteria, viruses, it kills it all. You're not gonna get sick. The only thing we were worried about was because the UVC light doesn't hit the rim, how best should we fill the water bottle with contaminated water and make sure that it didn't get on the rim? Um, that's really important because even if you have one drop of contaminated water, it could screw up the whole batch. So what I would do if you are gonna take it out into the back country and purify your water with it or if you're gonna um, fill it up on a day hike uh, from a stream or waterfall or if you're going to fill it from the tap in Central America or something like that and that doesn't have the water purification standards that you know North America does or Europe then what I would do is put the water in another vessel first and then carefully squeeze it into this water bottle, making sure not to get any water around the rim. Um, if it gets a little bit uh, on the inside, that's okay. What I would just do is just wipe it dry uh, first with a cloth or your shirt or something like that. Uh, make sure there's no water on the rim on the inside or the outside. Uh, make sure no water gets on the, in the rim of the cap. And then go ahead and put the cap on 
hit the adventure mode button, give it a few shakes like they tell you to do on the website with the instruction manual and all that. And um, two minutes later, you should be good to go. If you're still nervous when you take it off, uh, feel free to slosh it around again, wipe off the inside of the cap, the inside of the thing, and run at it again. And that should pretty much get everything taken care of. Now, there were only a couple things we weren't thrilled about when it came to the Lark water bottle. One thing that we weren't thrilled about was that occasionally when we would hit the button, the cap would be a little glitchy. It would give us a warning light, which is an orange flashing light. We'd get that occasionally when we would oscillate the water bottle like you're supposed to to make sure all of the water gets purified. Um, so it was a little glitchy, a little funky. It would only happen occasionally, but you never knew when it was going to happen. So sometimes you'd have to run it a couple times to make sure it would go through a whole cycle to purify your water. They seem to have maybe worked that out in the new version uh, because we've been using this for a couple weeks now and it hasn't done that yet. So I'm really hopeful that that's a problem that's not a problem anymore. This was a right after they launched. Uh, so chances are they just had to work out a few bugs in the firmware or whatever. The only other thing that we weren't super stoked about was how heavy this water bottle is. And most of that weight is in the lid because, uh, you know, that's where the batteries are and the, the lights and all of the mechanism that you want in this water bottle, right? But it's kind of heavy, which makes it not super practical for backpacking. Also travel, if you're trying to travel light or you're traveling in Europe or countries where they're weighing your carry-ons and things like that, this is a heavy water bottle. The original is a 17 ounce water bottle. That's how much liquid it holds. Though it's about the same size as your typical 24 ounce bottle. This one holds 17 ounces. There's also a model, the original, that holds 25 ounces. So if you want something a little bit bigger, you can opt for that. It also weighs about 13.5 ounces. That's less than a pound. So maybe not a huge deal to a lot of people, but if you're backpacking or you're just into ultra light day hiking and that sort of thing, that's pretty heavy for a water bottle. The new Lark bottle movement is not double walled, which means it's not gonna insulate your water, it's not gonna keep it cold, but you do save a few ounces. But this bottle does hold 24 ounces and only weighs 10.7 ounces, which is cool. So it's, you know, not a ton lighter, uh, three ounces, something like that, not a huge deal. Uh, we were hoping when we heard they were launching a lighter version that it would be quite a bit lighter, but again, all the weight is in the lid and you can't really get away from that if you're going with, you know, a purification water bottle. I guess you could probably shave a couple more ounces by taking off the, uh, the silicone sleeve here, which I, I did take off the other day, so you can actually pull off the silicone sleeve, and I mean, that's gonna save you maybe an ounce. So which one you go with is totally up to you. If you really like cold water, you know, a couple extra ounces, the original Lark bottle is gonna be your best bet. If you prefer to carry slightly less weight but more water, Lark bottle movement's gonna be your guy. The original costs $95, and the new Lark bottle movement costs $78. So you also get a few bucks in savings. And as of the shooting of this video, they do still offer the travel sleeve on their website, which is $18 which I think is super helpful and handy. And I have that on my water bottle a lot to protect it, to give it a little, you know, a handle and a hook to hold on to. Uh, so I'm not always palming my water bottle. It's a great thing to have. So there you have it. The original Lark bottle and the Lark bottle movement. The choice is yours. We like them both. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future gear reviews and adventures. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on our blog, terradrift.com, where you'll find all sorts of travel adventure stories, updates, gear reviews, gift guides, you name it. Thanks for watching and wander on.